Done? Sir, should I write uh, the solution to? No, no, no. I'll just write the questions only. Uh, Uh, sir, I'm done. Done? Okay. So, how will you be able to solve this question? In isosceles triangle ABC, this is an isosceles triangle. Okay. Rima, if this is an isosceles yeah. triangle ABC, so this side is equal to this side is being given to you? Yeah. So, this angle will become equal to this angle? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. And, and D is the points on D and E are the points. Here, okay, on BC such that BE is equal to CD means uh, BE BE is equal to CD means this hole is equal to this hole. Okay, are you getting? E hmm? Yeah, I'm getting. So, what do you think that? Uh, how will you prove this? Show that AD is equal to AD. Means this side is equal to this side. How will you show? So which two triangle you need to prove congruent? Angle, angle you, AB and AC. Triangle. If you prove this triangle congruent to these two triangles, okay. If you prove these two triangle congruent. Okay. So this side of this triangle is equal to this side. Yeah. Hmm? Yes. And this angle is equal to this angle. Why? Because it is an isosceles triangle. If there is an isosceles yeah. triangle, always we're going to have their if this side is equal to this side, their angle will be also equal. Okay. So angle B is equal to angle C. But you are having only you need to prove that BD is equal to CE because if you have in this triangle, this side is also equal to this, this side, okay? This angle is equal to this angle, okay? Angle B is equal to angle C, got it? Rima, are you getting? Um, I'm not getting it clearly, sir. Try to uh, try to read this question. Right? Try to uh, first uh, means what you need to do here is try to get from the question the solution that you are having. Let me check whether how concentratedly you can understand this question. Try to okay. Right. What do you need to prove? This is a very simple question. Tell me, what do you need to prove? So we Hello, sir. Prove is equal to Hello, Rina. How are you? I'm yes. fine, thank you. Huh? Okay, you're done. Where were you in the previous class? You were absent? Are you fine? Yes, sir. 
I think that you got was just sub worried about you. Okay, so wait a minute. Let me have this. Okay, Rima, let me help you. Okay, with this question. This is very simple question, okay? And how can you solve this one? Let me help you. You need to prove that it is being given that ABC is a isolated triangle, okay? So if given hai, given is ABC is an isosceles triangle. So what does this mean? If it is an isolated triangle, then what does it mean? This means that this side is equal to this side. It is given to you. That AB yes. is equal to AC. And if it is an isolated, isolated angle, then this angle will also become equal to this angle. Yeah. Okay. Let's suppose if I'm having here, okay, and uh, let if I'm having uh, angle B is equal to angle C, okay. What do you need to do to prove, to prove AD is equal to AE? Okay. And it is also being given to you that BE is equals to DE. Okay, BE. This as a whole, this as a whole up to here is equal to this as a whole up to here. Okay. So, Rima, if I am having BD, sorry, BD, let's suppose we need to prove AD and AE equal. Okay. Yeah. So, I need to prove this triangle congruent to congruent to this triangle. Hmm? I need to prove mm -hmm. this one. So, in these two triangles, this side is equal to this side given. This angle is yeah. equal to this angle given. But you need to prove BD. If you prove BD equals to EC or BD is equal to CE, C, then the third side will be there. Angle B is equals to angle C. A B is equals to A C. It is given. If you prove B D is equals to C E, A, E C, and this side is equals to this side, then by side angle side the triangle will be congruent. Okay. But B D is equals to C E is not given to us. We it is being given that this as a whole up to here is equals to this as a whole up to here. Okay. So if we write B E equals to B E equals to C D. Okay. And if we subtract, subtract D E from both on both side. D E on both side. Okay. If I subtract D on both side, then what would happen? Tell me. Tell me. If you write B E minus D E will be equals to CD minus DE because equals are if, when equals are subtracted from equal, then it is equal. Okay. If you it has been given that B is equals to D and you are subtracting the same thing, then the result will also be same equal. Okay. So what you will what you will get if you subtract if you subtract DE this portion from BE BD sorry. What you will get? Tell me Alvina. Oh. Yes, sir. What you will get? If you are having this BE and you are subtracting only this portion from it, you are deleting this portion, then you will get BD? ABD. Only BD. ABD? What are you saying? Are you getting my point? What I am saying? Yeah. If you subtract, if you are having this BE, BE, and you subtract DE from it, you erase it. Okay. Then what, what portion you will get? You will get this portion only. Oh, yes. So from yes. this line, from this line, if you subtract this line, only you will get this. So if you have BE and you subtracted DE from it, you will get BD equal to 
okay be will be bd will be equals to and similarly if you have this ce cd cd and you subtract de from it then what it you will get it will be ce okay this will be ce so when you have bd is equals to ce and uh, bd is equals to ce and angle b is equals to angle c and ab is equals to ab is equals to ab is equals to ac it is also given so by side angle side the triangle abd a b d will be congruent to triangle a c e yes and so so by cpct if these two triangle is congruent to this triangle so this side of this triangle will become equal to this side so you will write by cpct by cpct ad will be equals to ae not it yes sir yes sir yes I'm having, you know, difficulty to understand the CPCT thing. CPCT is congruent part of congruent corresponding triangles. Okay. If we have the two triangles congruently proved, we have proved. Yeah. So, and what do you have chosen? Two sides and one angle? Yes, sir. The so remaining one side, one side and two angle will automatically become equal. If you have proved two triangle congruent. The remaining sides. So you have chosen this side and this side of this triangle. And why you were just proving? Okay, yes, you have not you have not chosen this one. So by CPCT, this will also become equal, automatically become equal if you have proved this two triangle component. Okay. Rima, you understood? Okay. So hmm. yes. Um, uh, like um, how do we like I'm st still not getting how do we get A D and A E? Equal. A, because we have proved these two triangle congruent. Yeah, because we have proved these two triangle congruent. Okay, let me show you here. If we have this triangle, okay. And if I'm having that this side is equal to this side in triangle one and in triangle two, this angle is equal to this angle. And we have proved that this side is equals to this side. Okay. So by side, angle, side, side, angle, side. These two triangles are congruent. One and two will be congruent. So the this side of this triangle one will be equal to this side of this triangle two. Okay. Do you know that which triangle we have chosen? Tell me, Rima, which triangle we have chosen? A, B, D in A, B, D and A, C, E. Okay. Got it. So if we have this side is equal to this side, this side is equal to this side and this angle equal to this angle. So this will automatically become equal. Okay. Rima, turn on your camera. It will be much comfortable for me to teach you with camera. And, so, and Alvina, if it is possible, please turn on your camera. Done. You understood. So please note down the solution of this one. Note down the solution. We'll do the examples first. Then we'll tease the middle. Do this one fast. Alvina, you also noted down. Yes, sir.
Dan Done this one. Alvina. Yes. Yes, uh, sir. Just a second. We noted fast, and we shall be moving further. Uh, sir, I'm done. Okay. Now, uh, the type of question that will be asked in the examinations is this question let's take this question okay uh how will you prove first of all uh let me teach you this one that write down the question number uh six in your copy question number six and draw this figure 3.7.34 question number six yes, sir. okay draw it When you're done, please let me know, okay? Done? Ema, where have you gone? Uh, so yes, I'm writing it. But your camera is not visible. Oh, sorry, sir. By accident, I opted. Okay, try it fast. Try it fast. Then tell me, how will you solve this question? What is being said? Uh, what the thing you are getting, Alvina, when you are just going to have A, B, C is an isolated triangle. For example, A, B is an isolated triangle. What things you are going to have in your mind when we are saying A, B, C is an isolated triangle? We'll have two equal sides and two equal angles. We'll have two equal sides and two equal angles. Very good. Okay. So if it is A, B, C, Rima, just concentrate here. Don't write. Just stop writing. Okay. Stop writing. Okay. If we are having A, B, C as an isosceles triangle in which A, this, this side is equal to this side, it is being given to you, okay? So the thing, the first thing that you are going to have in your mind is that this angle will be become equal to this angle because their sides are equal, okay? Got it? Got it? And the next, next it is being said that uh, means AB is being produced to D such that AD and AB are equal. Means this side is also equal to this side. Okay. So let's have this question in our copy. And let's start. You need to prove that this angle, angle BCD as a whole is going to be 90 degree. You need to prove this one. Okay. So let's talk about this one. So let's have this question. Okay. So how will you be able to prove this question as 180 degree? This angle as 180 degree. How will you be prove? able to prove? So do you think that if this side is equal to this side and if this angle is 60 degree, then this angle will be also 60 degree? 
if this angle is 40 degree, so this angle will be also 40 degree. Hmm? This is so. Do you yes, think that yes. since this side is equal to this side, so will it be also 40 degree and this will be also 40 degree? Yes, sir. Yes. No. Since these sides are equal, it is not possible that the angle will be equal. These two angles will be equal, but of not of same uh, same uh, measurements. Okay. 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 If this is 40, then this will be also 40. If this is 60, then this will be also 60. Yeah, like that is. Like that it is. Okay. So mm -hmm. if you are having, let's I'm writing this. So whatever the value of this angle, let it will be X. So this will also become X. Hmm? And yes. let if this is Y, then this angle will also become Y. Why? Because we are having A, A, D is equals to A, C. And since A, D is equals to A, A, C, Rima, you're getting. So this side yeah. will also this side is equal to this side. So if you are having this triangle, this side is equal to this side. So this angle will also become equal to this angle. Okay. So you will write let, let angle A, B, A, B, C, A, B, C means this angle equal to angle A, C, A, C, B, A, C, B is equals to X. Okay. Why? Why we are having these two angles as X? Because ABC is an isosceles triangle. Okay. Got it. And the next one is if we are having, let's suppose, if we are having in triangle and similarly, let angle similarly, similarly, if we are having angle. A, D, C means this angle. Angle A, D, C is equals to angle A, A, C, D means this angle. A, C, D is equals to Y. Okay. Okay. Now, Alvina and Rima, tell me how can you prove this angle is 90 degree? Is there any idea? Uh, which angle is This as a C angle. As a whole, as 90 degree, how will you prove this one? Uh, how will you prove this one as 90 degree? Sir, angle ACB plus angle ACD is equals 90 degree. How? You need to prove this one that X plus Y is equals 90 degree. How will you prove this one? How will you prove this one? This is very simple. Uh, you will DC, take DC in, is equal to C B. DC is equal, is equal to, to no. C, Dima, if we uh, what is the sum of all the angles of a triangle? Well, uh, 180. 180. So you will take in triangle in triangle B C D in triangle B C D. Angle X plus angle X in this angle plus this angle plus angle Y this angle plus angle Y this angle will be equal to 180 degree. Hmm? Yeah. Rima? Stop writing Rima. Don't write. Just listen to me. If it is X, this is also X. If it is Y, okay. So sum of all the angles will be 180 degree. Okay sum of all the angles because if you are just considering this triangle this whole triangle okay so bigger one so if this angle plus this angle x x plus this plus this okay so they will contribute what this will become the whole angle because this angle is x plus y the middle one okay and this is x this is y and x plus y will be equal to 180 degree okay this will gives you yeah. the sum this is actually angle B, this is actually angle C, and this is actually angle D. Got it? Yes, sir. Rima, you understood X plus Y is equal to C? Sir, but how it comes like 90 degree? Like how la, la, Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you will write 2X, and you add X plus X, you will get 2X, 2 angle X. Yeah. Similarly, 2 angle Y is equal to 180 degree. Take the 2 as common from both. 
So when you take the two as common, you can write angle X plus angle Y is equal to 180 degree. Hmm? Yes. Sir. Now this two is in multiplication. So this two will goes down. You will get two X plus two Y, two angle X plus two angle Y is equal to 180. And this two is multiplying with this bracket. So it will, what it will do? It will comes here from two, two from here will comes here. Okay. Got it? Rima, okay. concentrate here. Concentrate here. So, so two only we brought it down. Yes, x plus y, angle x plus angle y will be equal to 90 degree. And what is the value of angle x plus angle y? Angle C and angle C is equal to 90 degree. And what is angle C? Angle C is D, C, B or B, C, D. So angle B, C, D is equal to 90 degree. Okay. You understood, Rima? Uh, Alvina, you got it, Alvina? Yes, I yes. got it, sir. Yes. Sir, uh, we already take B as uh, 2, right? We already take B as X. Okay, oh yeah, okay, I got it. Okay, copy it fast. Okay. Done? Yes, sir, done. Okay. Done. Next. Next. Uh, do question number seven. This is very simple question. So uh, we should take angle B and angle C uh, X. Angle B and angle C as X. How, uh, how you can take it? Are they equal? If they are equal, then you can take it. Do you think that they are yeah, equal? Um, angle AB is, is equal to AC, right? So 
it is equal. Yes, it will be equal. So, Alvina, you proved it. What is the angle? What is the value? Sir, I cut the answer. What is the answer? 45 degrees. Yes, it will be 45 degrees. Rima, you got it? You got the answer, Rima? Uh, wait a second, sir. So, if you have, let's just look at it. Yes, are you saying? Sir, by theorem 7.2, Angles of the opposite opposite angles of an isosceles triangle is equal. We can say angle B is equal to angle C. Yes. Right? Yes. So this so is angle A. Is 90 degree, right? No. A is 90 degree. Look at the screen, Rima. This is right angle triangle ABC. Then which A, B and C. A, B is equals to A, C it is given. Given AB is equals to AC and angle A is equals to 90 degree. Okay. So if this is an isosceles triangle, it will AB is equals to AC. So this angle will be equal to this angle. So yes. let's let angle B is equals to angle C is equals to X. Now in triangle, in triangle ABC. Angle B plus angle A plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. Some of all the angles are equal. What is the value of angle B? X. What is the value of angle X. A? 90 degree. What is the value of angle C? X. X. X, X, X will give you 2X. 2X. This will go to that side. And will get subtracted. 2X is equal to 180 minus 90. Then X is equal to... 90, 2x is equal to 90. You subtract it. Yeah. Yes, sir. And x is equal to 90 divided by 2, you will get 45 degree. So, angle B will be equal to angle C will be equal to 45 degree. So, this will be also 45 and this will be also 45 degree, okay? 45 plus 45, 90 and plus 90, 180 degree, okay? Got it? Uh, I divided uh, 2 and 90. That's why the answer came as that. You got it? Yeah. Take, this, it. take the screenshot of this one, Rima. So that you will be able to answer it. Write, it, write the solution in the next uh, at home book, okay? Take the screenshot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, take the screenshot. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to have this question. Write down question number two. Sir, this yes. was no, no, nothing, nothing. Question number like two. the exact same question have came in the test. Uh, so I skipped that. Like in question number one. Question number one. Yeah, it, like okay. kind of a uh, similar question. Okay. Do question number two. Alvina, you give the test? Yes, sir, I gave. I sent my answers also in the group. Okay, okay, okay. So, how was your test? It was okay. It was okay. <laughs> because we have no... I forgot that I have not teach you this these two exercises. I just was checking this one when I was just paper, doing the paper. Rima told me, sir, you have done only 7.1. Actually, we were just doing the questions from the NCIT examiners and I just forgot to complete this one. So I just don't over this one, okay? Okay. So do question number two. Write down the question number two. AD is an altitude of an isolated triangle. Altitude means it is making 90 degree with the base, okay? Of triangle ABC, in which AB is equals to AC. Show that AD bisect angle BC, uh, AD bisect BC. And second, AD bisect angle A.
So are you trying? Done. Alvina, are you done? Uh, sir, uh, just a second. Yeah, let me try. Okay. Yes, Alvina, done? Alvina, done. You are muted. Where she has gone. So if we have an isolate triangle, done, Alvina. Uh, kind of. Okay. The for first answer is uh, uh, BD is equal to DC. BD is equal to uh, DC. We, yes, yes, we need to prove this one. AD bisect BC. So it means we need to prove BD is equal to DC. We need to prove this one. So it, it indirectly means AD bisect BC. What does it indirectly means? It means to prove to prove BD is equals to DC, CD. Okay, we need to prove this one. So which two triangles you will take com which you will which two triangles you will take? So if you have proved this triangle congruent to this triangle, then it will be very easy. Yes, okay? sir. So by CPCT, this side will become equal to this side. So now you can tell me, Alvina, that how will you prove this two triangle congruent? ADB. Then triangle ADB and triangle and ABC is AD, common. Which is common? Which side is common in Rima Bot? Sir, AD is common in both triangles. AC is common. AC? AC is here. AD, AD, sir. AD is equals to AD. It is common. Okay. And this AB side, is equals AC. It is given to you. AB is equals to AC. It is given to you. Okay. And other things? And... ADB is equals ADC. They both are 90 degrees. Because yes. We need to keep altitude. in mind this angle is also equal to this angle. It is also being given to you because it is an answer to this angle. So automatically this angle will be equal to this angle. But don't take these two angles. Why? If you take these two angles, what would happen? Then you cannot apply the SAS rule because you have not chosen this side and this side. You are choosing this side and this side. So if you are using SAS rule, then you have to choose this angle. But if you are using RHS rule, RHS right, right means 90 degree. Hypotenuse means the longest side and one side. Okay. So we are choosing this side. This side means hypotenuse, one side and 90 degree. So this will be congruent by right RHS. Okay. Not by okay. SS. If you have chosen this angle is equal to this angle and you try to by side angle side so this will not be able because we are just choosing this side and this side and if we are using SAS rule 
then the angle in between the two sides that we have taken will be there equal. Okay. So we are not using this angle right now. So we we'll write, we'll write uh, here AD is equals to AD common. I mean, this side is common in both. This side is equal to this side. And this angle, since it is an altitude, altitude means it is making 90 degree. So we'll write angle A D B. A D B is equals to what angle? Prima. A D B is equals to what? Uh, A D B. A, A D C D. A D C. A D B is this. So A D C will be this. Okay. And this will be equals to 90 degree. Got it? Got yeah. it, Rima? If these two okay. angles are equal, if these two angles are equal, okay, so 90 degree. So, what you which by which rule this two triangle will be congruent? By by which rule? RHS. RHS, right hypotenuse side. Okay, right angle means 90 degree. One is hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is the longest side of the right angle triangle. Okay, so we have chosen yes. this side. So, by RHS. Triangle ADB congruent to triangle ADC. Now, Alvina, you understood now here. Yeah? You need to keep in mind that what which side we have taken? This side and this side we have taken. While we are proving this triangle, we have taken this side and this side. Okay. We have not taken yes. this side. We have not written BD anywhere. So by CPCT, the side or the angle that are left that we have not taken, they will automatically become equal. Okay. PD is equal to this. So, by CPCT, we will take BD will become equals to CD. And similarly, it is also asking that AD bisect angle A. So, what does the word bisect means? Means we indirectly need to prove, we indirectly need to prove that this angle is equals to this angle. If we yes. need, if, if we prove BAD, BAD means this angle equal to this angle, then it means AD is bisecting this angle, angle A. Okay, so which angle you have chosen? You have chosen while while you are proving this triangle congruent to this triangle, only you have chosen this angle and this angle. You have not chosen this one. There is not written anywhere when while you are proving that angle BAD is equal to CAD. You have not taken these two angles. So the remaining angle that you have not taken, they will automatically become equal by CPCD, okay? Understood? So that's why angle BAD will be equal to angle BAD will become equals to CAD. Okay, Rima? Yeah. CAD. Oh, what does this mean? If this angle become equals to this angle, so this means IE and uh, AD bisect bisect angle A. Okay, note it down here. Done. No, just a second, sir. Yes, sir. Done. Done. Sure. Alvina, done. Done, sir. Okay. Okay. Note down question number 33 and draw the figure 7.4. Note down question number 3. Okay, sir.
dan And Ima, I will check the question that uh, you have taken the screenshot, whether you have done this one in the copy or not in the next class, okay? Okay, sir, sure. Try, right, please. It's my request that the homework that is being given to you, please do that one honestly, okay? This will improve your uh, skills. Sir, I finished writing the question. Okay. Okay. So we are having this question. So how will you proceed this question? The other two medians are given to you in which AM is equals to PN. It is given the, with the mark. You can understood the sign. Okay. You, you can understood the sign with the sign. Let me increase the length of this. One, okay. So it is being given that this is equals to this. This hole. Okay. A, B, and B, C are median and A, M, A, M are median. Sorry, the two side A, B, and B, C and medium A, M of triangle A, B, C are respectively equals to P, Q, R, and, and P, N. So here this side is equal to this side and B, C is not only this portion is equal to this portion. Okay. It is not given to you. The whole B, C is given to you equals equal to Q, R. The whole BC is even equals to QR. How will you prove this one? So what is being asked? You need to prove triangle ABM. You have to use your mind and, and I will ask you that how will you prove. So you need to prove triangle Sir, one AB. Thing I want to ask. Hmm? Yes, ask. Sir, what are those points? Actually, those are lines. Okay. These are, these are the lines. These are the equal lines. Okay. okay. It is representing that this side is equal to this side. This side is equal to this and this this as a whole BC is equal to as a whole QR. Don't think that it is equal to BM is equal to QN. It is not given. The whole it is given. Okay. So you need to prove that triangle ABM. ABM means this triangle as a whole. This one. Only this portion. Triangle PQN. You need to prove this one. So how will you prove? Tell me. What is what are the things? Just think it. And by which uh, criteria you can prove this triangle congruent? The two sides are given. This side is equal to this side. This side is equal to this side. Okay. But this hole is given to you, this hole. And you need only BM is equal to QN. If you are able to prove BM is equal to QN, then... By side, 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 this triangle will be congruent. How will you prove that BM is equal to CM? Sorry, BM is equal to QN. How will you be able to prove? Sir, by SSS? Yes, by side. SSS. You are, yeah, you are able to prove this one by SSS. Side, side, side. But the third side, BC is given to QR. Not BM is equal to QN. And if you need to pr prove ABM, equal to Rima. Are you getting? If you need to prove A, B, M equals to P, Q, N, then this side is equals to this side. It is given that A, B is equals to P, Q. And A, M is equals to P, N. It is also given. But you need to prove B, M is equals to Q, N. How will you be able to prove? Mm -hmm. Hmm? 
Tell me, Alvina. So this is very simple. If it is BC is equals to QR, it is given to you. Yeah. And AM and PN are medians. PN yes, are sir. medians. So BC by 2 will be equals to QR by 2. If you are dividing this by 2, this will be equal. So what you can write BC by 2? BC by 2 is actually BM. Yes. Why? Because this is a median. Median divides the third side into two equal parts. So if I'm talking that AM is the median, median, then then this side will be this side will be equal to this. This is the midpoint. So this will be equal to this. So half of BC I can write BM. Yes, sir. And half of QR I can write only QN. Got it? Uh, got sir, it. Seven, got it. Rima, if we are getting that, for example, this is this is the midpoint, okay? okay. So if I'm saying that BC is equals to BC, and here is an M. So I'm saying that if M is the midpoint of this, so what you can write? You can write BM is equals to CM. This side will be equals to this, this portion. If, if I'm saying that BC is a line and M is the midpoint of it. So will it be equals to B, B, BM is equals to MC? Yes. What does midpoint? What does midpoint mean, is, Rima? Uh, midpoint yeah. is CM. Midpoint means the midpoint means the half of everything. What is uh, half of half of the line? Okay. So if it, this is a midpoint, so this portion will be equal to this portion. Yeah. So if it is being given to you in the question that. BC, the side BC and AB uh, are, uh, sorry, uh, here BC is equals to QR. It is being given to you. Okay. The two side AB, AB is equals to PQ and BC is equals to QR. It is given to you. So if, if I'm saying in a simple language, if I'm saying in a simple language that if you need to prove these two triangle congruent, this triangle and this triangle as congruent, so this side is equal to this side, it is given. Okay, Rima? Okay. Okay. So you will write in triangle, in triangle ABM, this ABM and triangle PQN. Okay. You will write AB is equal to A. PQ, AB is equals to PQ. It is given in the question. AB is equals to PQ. It is given. Okay. And AM is equals to, AM is equals to uh, QR, uh, QN. It is also given. Okay. But it's AM. PN. Sorry, PN. It is also given. It is also given to you. But for proving this triangle congruent to this triangle, you need only BM equal to QN. But it is not given. But the whole BC is give, BC is equals to QR is given to you. So you will yeah. write BC is equals to QR. Then divide BC by 2. What you will get? BC by 2 will be equals to QR by 2. For example, if I am saying 10, if I am saying 10 is equals to 10. Okay, Rima, look at this. Don't stop writing. If I'm saying 10 is equal to 10, so if I divide it by 2, if I divide it by 2, you'll get 5 is equal to 5. Okay. Yes. Got it? Yeah, got it. So what is what is BC by 2? BC by 2, M is the midpoint. M is the midpoint. So half of BC is BM? BM. Right, BM. And what is half of QR? Is QN? QN. Q and okay, so it is. So we have one side, second side, and third side. Okay, so by side angle side, the triangle ABM will be congruent to triangle PQN. So by CPCT, this angle will be equal to this angle. Okay. Yeah. Alvina, yes, will sir. it be equal? So it is so equal. by. C P C T angle B will be equals to angle Q. Yeah. If you have to, if you have proved Rima this triangle congruent to this triangle, so this angle will be equal to this angle. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So 
so if you need to prove the next is triangle ABC congruent to triangle, this whole big, big, big triangle. So in big triangle, this side is equal to this side, ABC and PQN, this side is equal to this side. And this whole BC is also given to QR, it is also given. Yeah. And this, this angle you have proved. B is equals to Q, you have proved recently. So by side, angle, side, side, angle, side, these two triangles will be congruent? Yes, sir. Okay, so you have to do this one in the homework. 